talk about the railroad. Here we have a picture of the roundhouse at Alexandria. Since the dawn of history, military strategy has been dominated by logistics. According to an old saying, amateurs study tactics, professionals study logistics. Well, obviously a railroad train could carry more tons of cargo than a mule-drawn train. But railroads were very primitive and a novelty at the time. They were not well run, and there weren't very many of them. In fact, only a single stretch of track of the Orange and Alexandria Railroad connected the entire Union Army to the vast supply depots of Alexandria and Washington. At various times during the war, the Confederate Army cut telegraph lines, tore up railway lines, and destroyed railway bridges throughout Northern Virginia. Keeping the trains running was an enormous task and essential for Union victory. And we next have a picture of the man who made it all happen, Brigadier General Herman Haupt. Herman Haupt was a railroad construction engineer who revolutionized military transportation in the United States and was really one of the unsung heroes of the Civil War. He repaired and fortified war-damaged railroad lines. He armed and trained the railroad staff, and he improved communications along all of the railroad lines. His well-organized trains kept the Union Army supplied and carried thousands of Union wounded to hospitals. And here we have a picture of Colonel John S. Mosby, who was Haupt's nemesis. He was the famous Confederate raider who, with fewer than 250 men, immobilized 30,000 Union troops by his daring raids. It seemed that the gray ghost was everywhere. He destroyed railway lines. He robbed Union paymasters. He captured pickets, and he shot down stragglers. Mosby single-handedly crossed Long Bridge into Washington City in the full light of day and returned unharmed to Virginia. We next have a picture of the railway works at Alexandria. The Union Army immediately took control of the railroads in Alexandria, but Alexandria was already a significant railroad hub. A railroad machine shop was already in operation. Isaac Entwistle and William S. Moore were the owners. The Union Army geared up existing facilities, and in 1862, the first rail connection between Alexandria and Washington was completed. Some 50,000 railroad cars were hauled over this seven-mile line during the course of the war. We next have a picture of General Haupt inspecting stockades. General Haupt, the railroad mastermind, had barricades erected across the streets leading to the wharfs to protect Army supplies from rebel cavalry raids. The Union Supply Depot was a high-value target, as you can well imagine, and the entire 12-block area around Duke Street occupied by the U.S. military railroad system was also enclosed by a stockade. The Confederates never raided Alexandria, but the disruption of supply lines and the constant disappearance of couriers frustrated Union commanders to such a degree that General Grant ordered when any of Mosby's men are caught, hang them without trial. Well, on September 1864, Union officers captured six of Mosby's men and executed them. Mosby ordered seven Union prisoners, chosen by lot, to be executed in retaliation. Then Mosby requested Union commanders to resume treating prisoners with humanity. The Union agreed, 
and there were no more executions. 